we always talk about how no matter what it is that you do, uh, you have to have good balance. And no matter what your occupation is, what your job title is, uh, whatever you do on a daily basis, there have to there has to be times when you sort of take a step back and take a breather. And that's what today's video is. Uh, and I just we're not talking about anything Ravens today. We'll, we'll get back to that tomorrow. Uh, we'll get some questions from subscribers in tomorrow. Um, and, and so y'all can see that. But today I just um, I really wanted to check in with y'all. I, I wanted to check in and see how you all were doing. Um, wanted to check in and let y'all know how I'm doing uh, and just so we could check in with each other. Um, if you things are going great right now for you, uh, if things are going smooth right now for you, feel free to let us know. It's a good thing. We, we, we love when, when things are going great for people. I, I love seeing that, man. Uplifting comments. Oh, man, I just graduated. Oh, I just got married. Oh, I just got this new job. Oh, I just had my kid. I just whatever. We, we love that. Part of stuff, I'm with it all day. But if things aren't going so good in your life, you can let that be known too. And this, I just want this video to serve as a, sort of an outlet uh, for people. Because a lot of us, we, we have family, we have friends. A lot of us got people to talk to. A lot of us got just some way a, as an outlet, but not everybody feels like they have that. Not everybody feels like they have somebody to reach out to. They have somebody to talk to. Not, not everybody feels that way. So in this video, I just wanted to check in on everybody, on Team Keep It Clean, just to see how everybody was doing. Uh, a lot of times, um, especially more so when things are going bad, speaking from experience, when, when things are going bad, you can almost feel like, man, like this is never going to end. This is never, ever going to end. <sighs> Things are just going to be going bad forever. Things are just, they, they're never going to turn around. And that couldn't be farther from the truth. It couldn't be. Again, speaking from experience, trust me. It's like, yeah, things, things can be rough. Life can be rough. It can be very rough. Um, but... I think a big thing that I learned in life and seen it along the way is that it's important to have good people uh, in your corner. Um, it's important to have people that are willing to listen to you and like not not people that's going to talk over you. Like when you tell them what's going on, and, OK, this is how you solve it, because a lot of times I, me myself, I can think that way. And I know a lot of people say it's a guy thing, but I, I, know, I know me myself, I, I, I can think that way a lot. Like if my wife is telling me something, she's telling me a story about something, or she's telling me how there's a problem with something somewhere, and I'm, I'm thinking, all right, my, my brain goes to, all right, this is how you fix it, this is how we got to get it done, this, and that's it, boom. But we got to be careful and make sure we actually listen uh, to the whole thing. Because if our minds are one, in one spot uh, and somebody's telling us a problem, then we could be thinking about the solution, which is nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, they could still be talking and we may miss a big point of something that they're trying to let us know. So that's super important uh, to listen, because, again, we, we were made with two ears, one mouth. So that means we have no excuses not to listen and less reason to talk. Talk less. Listen more. It's hard. It's, it's, it's tough, <laughs> but we got to try it, man. Um, but I just wanted to hear how y'all were doing, like I said, man. So whether things are going good or things are going bad, just let us know. Uh, but what I was saying earlier is that even if things are going bad, trust me, you're not the only one going through it. And I just, I wanted this to, like I said, serve as an outlet. Serve as an outlet for people. Um, if you got, cause everybody doesn't have somebody to express stuff to, to get stuff off their chest to like that. Not everybody has that. And that can be tough. It can be super tough. So I know Team Keep It Clean is family, though, man. It's, it's family. I, I done seen so many, so many different examples when somebody put in the comments. And, and we'll we be talking about football. We'll be talking about something with the Ravens or something with NFL or whatever. But somebody put in the comment section, man, I'm just sorry. I know this ain't got nothing to do with the video, but I'm going through this right now. X, Y, Z. 
it's tough, it's rough. And then I see under that, man, so many people encouraging them. So many people encouraging them, being positive, uplifting them, and just really, because y'all, y'all just, you don't know how powerful your words are, man. You don't know that, man. You just don't un underestimate the power of your words, the power of the tongue, because that thing is real deal, man. And that could be for good or for bad, but certainly for good. And again, we always talk about it. You never know what somebody on the opposite end of that avatar is going through. What somebody on the opposite end of that profile picture is going through. You never know. You never know. So, again, I'm checking in with y'all. I wanted y'all to check in. See, just see how y'all are doing. Now, of course, hope everything is great. But I know sometimes everything is not so great. And that's fine because, again, that's life. We all got to deal with different stuff. Now, for me, um, just a quick check-in, just a quick recap of how things are going. Um, things are going pretty good. Overall, things are going pretty good. Um, this has been, whew, this off-season has been, it's been a lot. Recently, there's been some days where I just, I don't feel like it. <laughs> like, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like working. I, I, don't, I won't feel like editing. I won't feel like uploading. I won't feel like doing nothing. And on some of those days, I won't do it. I won't do it. Um, but at the same time, there's, and there's some days where I will. And, and most of those days, I end up, end up still doing something. Um, but I got to push through. Got to push through. Uh, because it's, it's, it's fun. Again, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I love what we do. Love it. But it is still, it's work. And it's a lot of work. A whole, a whole lot of work. Like some people think, oh man, all you're doing is just standing behind the camera talking about the Ravens or whatever for a couple minutes. Blah, blah. A lot more goes into it than that. Especially when you have a family. Because uh, a, a lot of people, they, they forget about that part. Um, but it is, is, it can be a lot. Um, but I am very appreciative of y'all. Appreciative of the fact that... Um, Y'all don't just support, but y'all y'all support hard, man. Y'all support heavy. Heavy, 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 and I appreciate that. Um, just past couple days, quick update. Uh yesterday, of course, we went to the, the fun day with LJ thing, which was fun. Um, and then today we didn't go to the seven on seven. We did not go to seven on seven because I was just tired, man. I'm like, I don't feel like cause yesterday out in the sun all day with the Lamar Jackson thing, and then after that. Me and my wife and Carter, we went to uh, to one of my boys' house. We went to him and his wife's house, uh, and we had dinner there. Uh, then another uh, couple, they, they came through, too. So we just talking, drinking, laughing, having fun, having a good time. This was just vibing, man. Um, but last night when we were over there, it made me, um, it sort of inspired me to do this, to check in with y'all, because we all did a check-in with each other. There was a point... Excuse me, there was a point in the night when um, the, the wives, they went to one room and it was just all us husbands in the other room. And we just talking, just talking. And of course, we had, we had our jokes and all that, but then we had a serious talk as well. Just checking in to see how each other were doing. And um, with that check-in, it, it showed that, yeah, we are men, we strong men, we taking care, taking care of the household or whatnot, Handling business and whatnot, but at the same time, we still have things that we deal with as well. We still have things that we struggle with as well. And again, even though things may be going great, you still got different little things that you got to deal with and take care of that can just, they can either, whether they drive you crazy, whether they annoy you, whether they bug you, whether they just, they hurt you, whatever it may be. We all have things that we still got to deal with. Um, so with me, uh, like I said, we, we, we good, right? We good right now. Things are good. Um, I'm very appreciative of just everything. Very, very appreciative. Uh, Carter, he's doing good. Uh, my wife, she's doing good. Pookie, she's doing good. Cause y'all remember she, um, she had the diarrhea for a day and that is gone. It's, it's gone. And that was on me because I, I I got too comfortable because with her, she um she's a little over three months. So she's still a little baby. Um, but what I was doing, I got I got too lax. 
Because and it was it's all a little bonding time too. I'm like, well, I, when I would eat, I'd be like, all right, hey, Pookie, there you go. Then I would eat something else. I'd be like, okay, they, Pookie, there you go. And I did that, and pff, it's a big mistake. But um, she enjoyed the food. Cause boy, when she would get food that I was eating, that tail would go to wagon and all that. She'd be hype, man. And I'd be hype right there. Too. Like, let's go, Pookie. You love it. I love it too. But it wasn't good for her. So life lesson. Um, so not doing that anymore. But yeah, she she's good. The poop's back to normal. She's back to normal. And it only took like a day. Only took like a day. So um she got that flushed out of her system. Um but yeah, man, things things are going things are going pretty good, man. Um, with the channel, uh, I mean the yeah the the videos they obviously been coming out, but um there's been it's, it's been growth. Uh, right now, like I said, it's slow season, uh, so that's fine. But there's been there's been growth on the channel. Um, there has been um, I, I I've been loving feedback too. I I I love getting feedback and because there, there's some people that. Well, um, they'll give you feedback and it'll be like legitimate feedback. Like, oh, this would be a good idea if you did this in a video. Or this, uh. And then there's some people that will give, um, how do you explain it? There, there's some people that uh, you, you can tell when it's like genuine feedback versus feedback to where or there's not even feedback, but something to where people are just looking for any little thing to complain about. And sort of nitpicking at different things. And and you can tell when it's um not even feedback, but more complaints about when uh people will never be satisfied. No matter what you do, no matter how you do it, no matter the way you do it, no, no matter what, there will be some people that are never satisfied with what you do, especially when it comes to this. But it can be life and just period. There will be some people that no matter what. No matter what, nothing will ever be good enough for them. And, hey, it is what it is. But in regards to YouTube, um, the way I feel, like, uh, and I, I've told y'all this a while back. Like, there used to be times when I would see cer certain comments and stuff. I would be like, man, I would try to um, cater my videos to everybody like if somebody said oh man you should do this i'd be like ah oh, it would be in my head and if somebody said oh you should do this it would be in my head and if somebody else did the same thing it would be in my head and i'd be like man i got well i, got, I gotta change this i gotta fix that i gotta think this da, 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 da. but no and not i'm i'm not saying that i'm not uh above criticism because i'm not at all i i actually appreciate criticism um and i appreciate Critique what well, that is criticism, but I appreciate feedback, like I said. But um, if you get so caught up in trying to please everybody, it's not going to work. You are going to drive yourself crazy, crazy, crazy. And so I, I stopped doing that a long time ago. I stopped doing that. And, and I um, like with people that I've worked with on here, uh, I, I always tell them the same thing. And anybody that, I, that I've worked with, they, they will let you know. I always tell them the same thing. Do not get caught up in trying to please everybody. Do not. If somebody says, oh, you should do this. And somebody else says, oh, you should do that. It can be easy to do that because you, you, you want the people who watch your videos to be happy. You want them to enjoy it. You do, for sure. But at the same time, if you're trying to do this for that person, that for that person, that for... It's always going to be somebody that's not happy. So in my opinion, my suggestion, you should do it the way that you enjoy doing it. You should do it the way that you enjoy doing it, the way that you love doing it. And that's that. Some people will like it. Some people won't. They won't. But that's life. Not everybody's going to like it. Not everybody's going to like you. It happens. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Not everybody's going to like your style. Not everybody's going to like the way that you do things. Not everybody's going to like the way that your video. It, it, it's life. But it's not a big deal. If, if you're happy the way that you're doing it. And of course, you still want to grow. You still want to try new things. You want to try to take different avenues and add different elements and whatnot. Like, because <laughs> again, big difference between criticism and hate. Huge difference. Huge, huge, huge. 
Uh, so so try to be able to be able to you, you'll be able to tell which is which. You'll certainly be able to tell which is which. Um, but that's that's just where I'm at right now, man. So I um I, I appreciate y'all. I really do love y'all. Like I said, I, I know this was a way different from the norm, uh, way different than what was expected. Uh, but again, like I said, we'll get back to all the questions from subscribers and stuff um, tomorrow over the next couple of days. We'll get back to talking about some Ravens. Um, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate y'all. Uh, I, I appreciate people that have sent uh, DMs one way or another, whether Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Uh, just to, uh, check in, just to check in, um, I really do love y'all, uh, and it's just, it's great, it's just, the pot, again, the, the positive outweighs the negative by a ton, by a ton, and that's pretty heavy, I wonder how, do I weigh a ton? No, I don't weigh, I don't weigh that much, but uh, anyway, the positivity outweighs the negativity by far. Um, and like, it's, it's not even close, man. It's not close. Um, but I, I, I appreciate it, man. I, I appreciate you all being a part of this journey. Um, I appreciate you all being a part of this ride. Uh, I appreciate you all being, uh, patient. Um, I appreciate you all, uh, being part of the process as we work, uh, and, and do different things, do try new things. Um, I, I appreciate you all's honesty with stuff. I appreciate you all teaching me about things. Like I said, man, there there will be there have been I have learned so much about uh the game of football uh through questions from subscribers. I have learned so much because you all have these great questions and these great breakdowns and these great analogies and these great theories and these great examples and I'm like wow like woo, I ain't think about it like that and then another thing I've been loving too um uh, with bringing people on man shout out uh shout out to Raven C shout out to keeping it real uh shout out to Couch Rider Raven Jermaine Lockett shout out to Coach Evans, shout out to Trust the Bank Media, Makana and Joshua. Shout out to shout out to Purple Rain Podcast, Simply AS10 and Sutton Def. Shout out to Joe Nubo. Shout out to Sonny from SZG Sports. Shout out to all of them boys, man. Shout out to um shout out to DT Vids. Like all, all of them, shout out to 410 Sports Talk. Like all, all them boys done came on the channel already, man. All them boys done came on the channel. And shout out to Sarah Ellison. And again, there will be more. There will be more people that come on. But one thing that I've been loving with that is that they they came on. And I may be thinking one thing about the Ravens. I may be thinking one way. And hey, sometimes they may be thinking that same thing. But other times they on a whole nother vibe. And I'm like, whoa, okay, I like that. I like, I, I like when they would present different things about not even just the Ravens, but just about football, period. I, I, I love that. And I, I appreciate it. Oh, lunch break hot take too. Shout out to Brodney and Jose, man. So yeah, man, it's this this whole like Ravens YouTube, Ravens whatever it is, social media. It's it's a big family, man. And I I have loved working with almost everybody. I ain't work with I ain't work with everybody yet, but we getting there, man. We getting there. I know my guy uh, KTE. We, he got I got to bring him on soon, and I got some other people that I got to have on soon. I have to, but it's it's on the way. Trust me, it is, man. Again, like I said, y'all know my schedule. So it's a process. But when when I can, I will. When we can, we will. Um, but it's just uh, I, I do appreciate y'all hearing them on here and then going over to their channels to support them too. I really appreciate that. I, I I love going when I go on their videos and I and I and I see y'all. I see names that I'm familiar with on here, on there, on their channels. 
I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's love right there, man. That's support. That's that's what we talking about, man. That's what we on, man. Support, man. Straight up. Support. Um, so anyway, in conclusion, I know this was just some way from left field for a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all got a notification and it said check ins. People, what? What what the, what this got to do with them ravens? This ain't got nothing to do with them ravens. But it's, <laughs> it's all good, man. Oh yeah, late round corner too. When he came on too. And and shout out to um uh, my offensive line guy, Cole Jackson, man. Cole Jackson, he came on too. Yeah, now he he done started a, a YouTube channel with Mike. So yeah, man, like it man. I love it, man. I have loved doing the videos with other people, man. Loved it. And again, there will be more. Um, so and we're gonna try some new stuff too, man. And like I said, I ain't, I ain't gonna speak on it, man, because I don't I don't like I don't like speaking on different ideas that I got and putting them out there. I don't know. You'll see it when you see it, man. When it's ready, boom, we roll it out. But anyway, I love y'all. Um, I appreciate you all's energy. Uh, I appreciate you all's support. I, I just appreciate you all being you all. I appreciate Team Keep It Clean. Um, I, I love y'all. So y'all stay up. Keep your heads up and remember to check in with your people. Check in with your people. See how they doing, man. Even if the last time y'all talked, it was a kind of awkward conversation. It's okay. That was the last time y'all talked. Now you can change the last time y'all talked to something different. If it ended bad the last time y'all spoke, okay. Now let's end it good. It can be tough. Especially if it's somebody that's annoying. Because, <laughs> ooh, you know some people be so annoying. Some people be so annoying, man. They really do. <laughs> like, <laughs> some people just be annoying, man. Like, oh, gosh. Why do you have to be like that? And they, they can be like that consistently. But we, we got to try, man. We got to still keep trying. Keep pushing, man. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Um... Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We out.